Hey guys, in this video we're going to continue with key items and what I want to do is fix this pick up none on the keys and also on the doors we don't have a notify that will say lock doors and then give the chest the same functionality as we have on the doors so we can actually lock it. So for this pick up none what we need to do is go to blueprints, enums and open interact type add new enumerator and this will be pick up key item we'll save it and then in notify type we going to add just locked save in the widget then go to interact prompt in here we now have this interact type, pick up key item, so we'll copy one of these, connect it, and we don't know what we're picking up because we only have item info, so we need to set up new variable which will be key item s, and this will be key item info. And we will only be needing it on this pick up key item. And then we'll get it, we'll break it open. And then this is a rich text, so we can also change the color of what we're actually picking up. For that, let's go to blueprints, data tables, and rarity rich text. I'm going to copy or duplicate one of these so I have the same style. And this one will be key item. And for the color, what do I want? No, maybe something between red and pink, just a bit darker. Yeah, something like that. That will be for all the quest items and stuff. Save it. Remember this name because you need to spell it the same way. We can just copy it and then here right click append and then append and first will be name no sorry first thing will be pickup yeah, pick up and then we'll need to get style pick up then in the brackets uh what was it key item which will activate the style then we'll connect name to b add another one and this will close the style with the forward slash so that's for the interact prompt and then for notifies let's go to widgets notifies notify widget and in the graph we have this locked so copy one of these paste it connect it to locked and this will say it is locked exclamation mark i don't want this to say door is locked because we might be using it for chests as well so compile and save and now for the pickup, if you're picking, uh, picking the key up, we don't have to create item info because we're only passing the item name. So we can just pass the name from the key and it will be the same. But I believe in player blueprint when we create notify. Yeah, at the moment we in the function, we're passing the whole item info and then we're splitting it. So instead I'm going to remove this I'm going to remove the input compile and save and then we're going to set it from here so just add the pin to note item name and then add stack so we will have type item name and stack because this is the only thing we need compile and save and now when we play the game it will give us some compiler errors so go to interactable items and in here 
we need to disconnect this this item info here break it open item name goes to name and where is the stack stack goes to stack compile and save the next one was crafting and here we're creating notify from active item info so we'll break it open disconnect this item name and item stack compile and save and then it doesn't show us but i think we do have it we create notify in what is it the loop container oh yeah okay so now when i compile it shows me here so disconnect it move this item info break it open item name and stack and then second one i'm just going to oh, i'm just going to break it open up here item name and stack and compile and save and that should fix it all now on the doors so go to items doors and let's create notify here which will be locked so when the door is locked and on the key so key item we don't have key struct anywhere so let's do it on construction script now we're actually getting the row so we can just promote this to a variable and this will be key item info and then in event graph here when we're creating interact prompt so we need to change this to pick up key item and for pick up key item we will need to set set key item info which we will set from this key item info so it will show us what we're actually picking up if it's rusty key or something else and then here we got create notify as well which is actual pickup once we pick it up and that can stay but we need to get a key item info this time break it open and name goes to name all right it's different mm. text to name text to string now we can only do to string so convert it to string and then connect it and then we don't need stack I'm not sure if it needs to stay one or something doesn't matter compile and stay compile and save and now that should all work so play the game and let's go next to the keys and I now I got pick up rusty key on the doors and this was the correct key so on this door it is locked and then yeah that's working all fine now I just want to add the locking mechanism to chest so let's actually close tabs to the right i'm going to just open door and chest and then from the door i want to copy this interact part from the locked to flip-flop copy this go to chest go to interact it's here move this and paste it here So here the chest is it locked we need to create variable and make it instance editable key id will create variable make it instance editable and player reference we also don't have so create player reference but we need to set that one so on begin play cast to player blueprint get player character and we already have a variable so just set it 
All right. So now, is it locked? Yes, it is locked. We will check for key. If we didn't find a key, we'll say it is locked. We did find a key. It's not locked anymore. We're setting the visibility. This is a bit packed. And then, so we unlock it. We need to continue with the rest of the function. If it's not locked, we just continue directly. Right, then on the chest, we also want to set if it's locked to say that it's locked. So on the door, we have this branch on begin play, copy it go to chest and in the end here after generate loot we're going to connect it is it locked true we'll get the interact prompt and set text to locked we need to be careful with this because the text we're setting to locked is the text it's supposed to say that the chest is empty so when we actually empty the chest we took all the items on update inventory we only changing the text back to visible, but it now says it's locked if the chest was locked. So we need to set text to locked in the no, not locked, sorry, empty, empty in the brackets. Compile and save. Now, if I go to this chest, I do have is locked and key ID, so we will lock it. And key, we will need this 10. I'll drag out some key. This one will be rusty key. Again, I don't have any other key. And 10. Right, so chest is now locked. I can't unlock it. Now I pick up the key, I hold the button, and it's now unlocked. Perfect. And one last thing that we can do that I want to have a little arrow on top of this E key because we actually need to hold it when we open the chest. So for that, let's go to interact prompt. And here I'm going to add image to canvas panel. We will anchor it to middle, control and shift. Make it maybe only 10 and 10. It's gonna be too small. Maybe 20 and 20. And I think by default you do have some arrows in the engine. So I'm going to get this category arrow, which is done, and I'm going to do minus, I don't know, 30. And then change the tint. I think it needs to be different color. Or should we do red? It's not gonna look like you need to hold it. I'm going to do something like this. And then move it a bit higher. Compile and save. Let's see. Yeah, that kind of looks like you need to hold it. Yeah, that's fine. Not sure if it's in the middle then. So minus 34. I'll anchor it again because I position it manually. Minus 34. And then I'm going to search for visibility. Hidden. It will be hold arrow variable compile and then go to chest and only on chest we're going to make it visible so from the interact prompt you can squeeze it in here get arrow get hold arrow set visibility to visible move this
Now rest of the buttons. Oop. What did I do? Hold arrow. Visible. <gasps> I renamed the whole thing. Wait, I need to go back. I apologize if you did the same. This was the canvas panel. It needs to be in each. Hold arrow. Basically hide the whole widget. So this one hidden. And now on chest again. Move this from interact prom get hold arrow. Set visibility to visible. Again, did I hide it again? Visible. What have I done now? I left this hidden, so visible. Right, okay, so it's not there. And on this one on chest, we can see we have to hold it. Doesn't look the best, but I think it gets the point across. Cool, and in the next video, we can actually do that. We'll add the keys inside the chest or inside the loot component so we can spawn it from enemies, from like boss enemies, they will drop key or any chest you want. But that will be a little bit more complex, so that's why I'm saving it for a new video. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye!